continuing to field questions for us similarly i have a student asking from within our telegram group about how and when to do the ul self-assessment exams the uwsa is okay for steps one and two i'll address this give you a very fucking clean and excellent answer here so before we get started please subscribe to my channel i really appreciate it give the video a like really appreciate it find me on instagram at melman underscore medical and me hlman underscore medical links down below find me on telegram links to the telegram group and channel are down below now start the clip so ul self-assessment exams uwsa is okay when to do them how to do them uh, for steps one and two, and my consolidated answer is I actually don't recommend that students do them anymore, okay? That's going to get some of you watching this clip real fucking emotional right now, okay? Because people have differing opinions. That's okay. We're just, we're having a conversation right now, okay? Just hearing different viewpoints. So in my view, they're not necessary, and it's not that <clears throat> they're harmful in any way. It's just that we have copious NBME material. I've made numerous clips talking about how after you finish UWorld, you're going to go through all the NBME content. For step one, you're going to do offline NBMEs 20 through 24, free 120, and then 25 through 30 online for 2CK. You're going to, after you finish UWorld, you're going to do all the clinical mastery series forms, 44 forms. Then you're going to do two per day. That's 22-ish days, three-ish weeks. Then you're going to do offline NBME 6 through 8, free 120. You're going to do a double pass of all the CMS forms another three weeks. Then you're going to do the online forms 9 through 12. And that's sequentially, if you're a postgrad, if you're on rotations, obviously going to be a bit different as you're going to do things more subject specific. But the point is, UWorld and all that NBME material. Okay, if we, if we think about step one, 20 through 30, that's 11 forms. 200 questions per form. Okay, that's 20, 200 questions. Then you have free 120. So that's another 120 questions. So that's a lot of fucking material. Now, it's not that you can't do the UWorld self-assessment exams, but are they necessary, especially when we have a pass-fail step one? The answer, in my view, is no. Now, there can be a time and place for UWorld self-assessments. I've had students before who come to me for the first time. Uh, maybe they've already had a fail in US Simile, or they've already... Uh, they've exhausted the NBMEs and they're looking for additional assessments. We could say, well, we could have you do go back even further, do an NBME 19 or 18, okay? Or we can use the, U, the UL self-assessment exams. There's nothing wrong with the UWSAs. It's just that when I have students come to me for the first time as an example, I don't incorporate the UWSAs into their prep anymore. It's nothing I romanticize. I'm agnostic. It's just if I'm genuinely reflecting on what I do when I prepare students for the US MLEs, I don't incorporate the UWSAs anymore. It was not a concrete cognitive decision on my end where I said, I don't want to use the UWSAs for X reasons. It's more just I'm reflecting on my natural uh, study plans for students and how I create them. And no, I don't incorporate them anymore. And it's simply because we have copious NBME material. So if those of you watching this clip, though, <clears throat> if those of you watching this clip say, no, fuck you, uh, I want to do the UWorld self-assessments, my advice is to do them prior to the NBME exams. So you finish UWorld, well, logically, do the UWorld self-assessment exams then. I don't want you saving them late. Okay, some of you, you want to go through the NBMEs, let's say up through NBME 28, then you want to do UWSA 2 late because you feel like it's a good predictor. In my view, I want you ending on <clears throat> ending on all the NBME material because those questions are the real US simile. We don't want you doing the actual UWorld QBank late, okay? So there's there's a sequence. The questions in UWorld are not the real deal. They're not the same questions. Objectively, the NBME questions are the real US simile. So I don't want us stacking and going back to UWorld questions, the UWSAs, after we've already commenced the NBMEs. Just sequentially, we finish all the UWorld content, including the UWSAs, then we go on to all the NBME content, and for 2CK, that includes the CMS forms, which is NBME content. You know the deal, I'm going to make more stuff. If you like my content, subscribe to my channel, and I appreciate your time. That's it.